the home secretary the person in charge of asylum and visa immigration have been making different statements to the media stating that there's a need to cut down immigration in the uk and this has set panic in the heart of most of my subscribers especially those who have plans to relocate to the uk sometime soon because sometimes they will hear that um the prime minister is actually making move to um to increase the cut on immigrants allowed to come into the UK and now again they are hearing about this home secretary of the state saying that she wants to cut down um, the number of immigrants coming into the UK I'll be reviewing the exact statements that have been made and how it can affect you what you can do in order not to be affected by this but to say the fact I don't think the UK is going to stop immigrants from coming into the uk at the moment because there is serious shortage in labor workforce and uk is currently undergoing recession and they need foreign workers to come work in some specific um, occupation in the uk to be able to get out of this shortage that is being experienced however this being said there is a possibility to cut down the number of immigrants that is there will be a lot of scrutiny to be done on um, applications done by immigrants outside the UK and unfortunately from our statement it has been noticed that there are two different continents that she have the major focus on and these two continents also is where I have the highest viewership from and the continents are Africa and Asia and unfortunately too in Africa I have my highest view from Nigerians and in Asia I have my highest viewers from India and these are the two countries that seem to be directly affected so in today's video we'll be looking into details what you can be able to do and the set of people that will be affected by this and those who we are not likely to be affected by this hi welcome to my channel talk to beam if this is the first time you are seeing my face then you are new to my channel kindly subscribe and be a part of this family as on this channel i share news on immigration and also tips on relocation opportunities to relocate to developed countries and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for taking your time to watch my videos thank you for the likes and thank you for the shares do not stop doing this as it encourages me to do more now looking at the exact publication that have been in the news the first one we're looking at is done by the telegram and they've done an analysis on the number of immigrants that have come into the uk within a particular period and as you can see it has been reported that 65,000 nigerians came into the uk within this period 31,000 as the main applicant for study visa and 34,000 as their dependents and that is what enforced the decision of the home secretary also reviewing that of india too as you can see they have over a hundred thousand immigrants in the uk currently within this given period and ninety one thousand is the main applicant who came to study and they have about twenty six thousand as their dependents and this is why the focus have been mainly on nigerians and indians based on the publication our focus is majorly on those who have more than two dependents and of course if you are coming to work in the uk you are at advantage because even though you're coming with your dependents in a way you're giving to the system because you're working and you also be paying tax right the major category of people to be affected is the students that is those planning to come on study visa the tier 4 visa applicants and not only that those who have more than two dependents now in one of her statements she said that she's planning to cut out the visa for dependents that is that um this has actually been done before in 2012 um, I think year 2012 as in you just come to study in the UK and as soon as you're done with your study you have to go back to your country so and I think that's what she's trying to do again because it was just in 2021 that um the, the 
that the policy changed and um, students are allowed to come to the UK to study on a postgraduate level and they are also allowed to come with their families, that is their dependents. But now she's looking at cutting out that and one of her reasons is she said there are a lot of low skilled people, I mean low skilled immigrants currently in the UK. And recall that one of the Prime Minister's um, mission is to allow skilled immigrants that is allow skilled workers to come into the uk to fill in the shortage experience now if they're having more of the immigrants from the low skilled um category then it is kind of affecting the system and that is why she's looking at how to cut down the numbers of immigrants now what can you do in order not to be affected by this one you have to consider the kind of school that you are, you are applying for admission into especially for those who have more than two dependents don't look at the money and start going to cheap university i mean the real cheap university before making your decision ensure that the universities you are applying to have a good credibility why do i say that the credibility of the university will rub off on you when you are applying for the visa because that university is well accredited then you are likely to get your visa application and also, I have seen one of my um, YouTubers also come back to me to ask about my opinion because she applied to a particular university and she was advised through her agents that she cannot come with the number of dependents that she have because she's got three kids and of course her husband that's four dependents so they advised her to look at at least a minimum of two dependents first then when she's in she can probably now look at how to take in the remaining people to come and join them in the uk so but for those universities that are relatively cheap they don't do they don't take time to do this homework and they'll just be like okay since we have this applicant applying for this um, admission okay we've granted the admission now apply for your visa and then those are the set of people that will really be scrutinized now another thing is ensure that your partner have a particular skill that is required in the uk i have done a video recently about the possibility i mean the possibility of other jobs to be added to the shortage occupation list so it will be wise for you to look out for that and also look out for when those jobs are being added so that as a partner you already have a skill under that occupation and when you do that you know when you're applying for your visa one of the things you talk about is about your um circumstance and when it is noted that you have a skill that is required in the uk you are at advantage one of the reasons is focusing more to cut down the immigrants on study visa is because when you're coming to the UK, you're only coming to study. So it's very important to ensure that when you're putting in for a course, you put in for course that is currently under the shortage occupation list. So that when you have applied for this visa, um, um, for the admission, when the clearance officer is looking through the course that you have come to study because one of the things that she mentioned is that most of the courses that the immigrants are coming to study are not relevant to the UK system. So it's very important for you to ensure that the courses that you are putting in for to study are courses that is under the shortage occupation list. I would add in the description box below the, a link for you to be able to view the list of courses that is under the shortage occupation list. So look out for admission for January if you can still meet up and if not, you can also consider looking out for admission for March so that you are already in before this rumor is being implemented. That is if at all it becomes implemented. The category that will not be affected by this is of course those who are single or those who are just i mean a married couple without kids or that have just got one kids however it's also important that you ensure that you put in your best for some schools they used to share um like a visa questionnaire that you fill in your circumstance ensure that when you're filling your circumstance if you have once applied to the uk and you've been refused visa before please state it there ensure that you state everything the way it is 
this questionnaire is always shared by schools i don't know if it's all schools that used to share the questionnaire however there are some schools that i know agents that have affiliation with them and they used to share this visa questionnaire so that when you fill it and they look at your circumstance they will be sure that your chances of getting visa is high before they offer you the cast letter and with that you are more of um, being on the advantage than um, of course the otherwise I know a lot is going on right now and of course it's normal because when there's a change in power it is something that is expected however it is best for you to use it to your advantage and ensure that you are not affected by this negatively now a recap of all that we have discussed today one if you've got dependent ensure that your partner has a skill that is required in the uk two if you are single, ensure that you state your circumstance as clear as possible. Three, when applying for, for, school, for admission, I mean, when you're applying for the course to study in a school, ensure that the courses that you apply for is currently under the shortage occupation list. That is, it's a required skill here in the UK. This will place you at, at advantage. And of course, lastly, look at the school consider the schools that you are actually applying into the era where any school in the uk can just offer you admission and you're good to go is is gone like now they would um give admission easily to people who apply to schools that have good credibility so ensure that you put all this into consideration please note that this is just my own opinion based on the news that is going on you can also review the news and also to make a decision as directed by your spirit i hope you've been able to benefit one or two from this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel now is a good time to do so we would love to have you here please share this video so that we have more people benefit from this and also the more views i get the more i am encouraged to do more I'll see you in my next video and I wish you all the best in your relocation plan. Bye for now.